All right. So there goes your theme music. Thank you, uh, 1D. We're about to do the coin toss. Jade, you okay. call. I'll call heads. Heads it is. Yes. You get to Does go that mean first. I get to go first? All right. Because it is International Write Down Your Story Day. <laughs> it certainly is. So <laughs> we thought... You guys have been working together for a couple of years now. Yep. Know each other backwards. Yes, we do. Inside Absolutely. out, That's upside right. down. That's right. Why don't you write each other's life story? But the thing is, we've only had like an hour to do this and literally we've probably had like a couple of minutes because we've still been on air. <laughs> the story of Damien Leeds' okay. life. <laughs> this is the story of a little Irish man. Oh. His parents named him Damien Leith. Oh. Oops. I shouldn't say little. He hates that. I and do. let's not mention his teeth. Oh. He spent some years <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> Playing in the dirt was his main hobby. They had no radio, beer or toys. Rennies were his only lollies. <laughs> Started so a true. band with his family called Leaf. They drew a crowd when, when they played. It didn't help with the ladies, though. Damien struggled to get laid. Oh, jeez. Oh. Finally, he met Eileen and literally swept, <clears throat> pushed her off her feet. <laughs> they moved to Australia, had three kids... Life was pretty sweet. Yeah. Then one day, after a few beers, Damien grabbed life by the bridle. He auditioned for a TV show and became Australian Idol. Wow. He had hits, written books, and paid the best Damien he could be. But the highlight of his career so far? The last two years working with me. Oh, <laughs> shit. So that's it. That is We're awesome. up to date. That's the life of this civilian. And you're buying the next coffee because, according to Google, your net worth is $5 million. <laughs> yeah. Very I, good, I, I got to say, that was, that, that was very that's good. absolutely brilliant. I, uh, I, I really don't think we should do much. Because <laughs> that was awesome. That was really, really good. Okay. All right. Uh, Damien. Uh, my, I, I, I'm embarrassed reading this out, yeah. but anyway, I'm going to do right. it. Okay. Go for gold. Jay Tonda is a girl who sits next to me. She's from Jamboree, where the cows poo and wee. All right. <laughs> Originally from New Zealand, she says she has no bum. A back with a Crack. She says it's just no fun. <laughs> All right. She has four awesome kids and a husband named Milko. Together, she and him, they're a dynamic duo. All right. They're, they're not building a farm, brewing beer, or raising chickens. They've got socializing to do and cocktails that need a mix of <laughs> <laughs> One day she was driving in her car, her mind on beer and champagne, not going very far. She forgot to fuel up. The car went empty. Oh, what a pain. She called her husband, Milko, and he said, Oh, Jade, not again. <laughs> <laughs> she lives with her mother, Mama Jude is her name. She has wrinkles on her forehead and Jade is to blame. <laughs> As a kid, she was a terrorist. Skipped school now and then. She moved out of home and guess what? She moved back in. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, here's a Jade, our tall friend, <laughs> whose antics we hope will never come to an end. She may never run out, may she never run out of fuel or beer and always bring us laughter and buckets full of cheer. Oh, that was really good too. <laughs>